What's going on guys, Rob from Clicks Geek, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get sky high click-through rates and ultimately more leads. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to do to go into your Google Ads account and start making these adjustments to increase your click-through rates starting today, as soon as you watch the end of this video. Guys, before we get started though, make sure if you are new to the channel that you subscribe and check out the links in the description. There's tons of awesome free content and make sure you hit that little bell to uh, get notifications when we go live because we have Google Ads trainings that get updated every single day. All right, let's get into the video. So what you're looking at guys is inside a live client account over the last 30 days of data. And there's a really simple trick when it comes to increasing your click-through rates and ultimately your conversions. If you'll see this guy's conversions, he's getting you know, between two campaigns, a jump car and a towing campaign, 434. Uh, leads per month, which is obviously a life changing amount of leads if you have a business that's dialed in to be able to accept that volume of leads and turn it into actual clients, which um, this client is. So, in order to get these high click through rates like this, like 11%, 9%, up, ideally you want to be going for anything over 5% click through rate is a total win in Google Ads. Um, unicorn status, I would say, is 10% or above, and that's just a very small percentage of advertisers who get over 10%. And a lot of this has to do with responsive search ads, but there's one more thing that you might have overlooked. So the most overlooked CTR increaser, click increaser, lead increaser, believe it or not, is ad assets formerly known as um, extensions in Google ads, right? So you might be thinking, oh yeah, I know about extensions. I don't need to watch the rest of this. No, no, no. Trust me, you don't know. <laughs> Look at these click-through rates. All right, so the whole premise behind using these, which nobody uses these, it's, it's astounding that they, Google gives you these tools to essentially give yourself more real estate on top of their search results. The more of this stuff you have, the more real estate you're taking up. And that real estate's valuable because it captures attention. It's another tool in our, our tool belt as, as marketers and Google Ads to grab attention and make our ads stand out over the competition. I can't tell you how many times we go in and see competitors running ads for the same the same keywords, the same landing pages, same stuff as us. But our click through rates and our conversions and our and our clicks in general are double or triple what they're getting when we audit accounts. And it's because they're under either not using ad assets or they're just don't know how to use them correctly, right? So look look at these as different call to actions, right? The site links take you around your website or multiple landing pages. So obviously these are links in the actual Google ad that people can click and go to different landing pages, right? And it's as simple as, let's say you're using one landing page for site links. All you have to do is clone that landing page, put it on a, let's say it's abc.com is your main website. We do abc.com slash, you know, uh, if you're a plumber, a sewer clean out or whatever it is, right? You just make a bunch of those different pages and you can use these site links as giant real estate adders in your Google ads that people can actually click and no matter what they click, it doesn't matter. They're going to a landing page. It's huge and nobody uses this stuff. It's crazy. Call outs are the same. These are just extra call to actions that you can add attached to your ads. It's wild. Nobody use, utilizes this stuff. Structured snippets the same. Like for this towing guy, we got you know local towing, winch out, winch out service, roadside assistance, call. And this is the, one of the most important ad assets that there is, is putting a call tracking number attached to your Google ad. I mean, if you're not doing that, then you are missing out on so many phone calls, I can't even tell you. It's insane. A, a bulk, a bulk of our leads for clients every 30 days comes from call extensions, which are these, right? And now Google offers lead forms. You can actually have a form right in your Google ad on top of Google. It's a little drop down box that you create. So easy to do. Price extensions, if you're running promotions, all that kind of stuff. Apps don't really apply to us because we do lead generation, but promotions, right? If you have a service-based business, you could run promotions. All guys, all don't think of it like, oh, I, well, I don't have any, I can't think of this right now. Like, look at this as the only reason you should add as much of this as possible is to take up more real estate, makes your ad stand out over your competitors. I cannot stress this enough. It's huge. Look at these click-through rates. 9, 9, 8, 11, 13, 14. 10, 10, it's crazy, right? If your average is getting, you know, two to 3% click-through rates in your campaign, you are getting crushed. 
And anything above 10%, at least in my opinion, is unicorn status. You are doing really well with your click-through rates. You should be aiming for five at all times. So doing responsive search ads paired with as many of these ad assets as possible, you're going to have sky high click-through rates. You're going to give you more clicks, more traffic, which ultimately, if you're doing Google ads right, should lead to more conversions and at a cheaper cost per conversion because your conversion rates can keep going up. So guys, please, if you take anything from this video, just get into your accounts and start adding as many of these as possible and just test it and watch. Give it, give it 14 to 30 days and watch what you get. All right, so if this is useful to you guys, drop a comment below this video. All right, I'm just curious to see if you guys are even using these or if you had bad experiences, good experience. I wanna hear it all. Okay guys, so that's my trick. Add assets, it works. Now stay tuned because at the end of this video, you're going to see a card. It's going to be for three easy tips to increase your CTR right now. Check that video out next. It's really awesome. It kind of ties into what you just watched.